Okay, and here we go in five, four, three, two. Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, your girl Kiki Carr, coming at you with yet another video. And I am so, so, super duper excited about today's video. Y'all don't know how long I've been trying to bring you this video. It's been like forever, literally. It's all about this holy grail of foundations right here, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now don't ask me why I am just now trying this. I actually worked next to Estee Lauder and I've tried their mascaras, I've tried their lippies and their nail polishes. Everything was really nice and I've heard all of the great reviews about the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I never tried it. Don't ask me why, but now that I have, I will never go back to anything else again. This is the best foundation I've ever had. It's my exact shade, and I always kind of compromised on my foundation shades because I felt like you know, for women of color, it would either be too yellow, too orange, or too red. I felt like I just could not find my perfect shade because it was either too something. I had to pick my poison. I gravitated toward the warmer shade. This is my absolute perfect shade. It's not too red. It's not too yellow. It's matte. It keeps you matte. It's a long wear. I just can't really say enough great things about it, honestly. Packaging is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at the packaging. I love anything dripped in gold. This is very sophisticated looking. And I would not have thought a color like this would look good on me. I would think that this was too light for me and that it wouldn't match. But it honestly, it's the perfect shade. The name of it is Rich Chestnut. And that's not a name that I ever would have picked out of my foundations. I like never would have got anything that said that. I always got things that said chocolate and cocoa and beautiful brown and bronze. And the only con I've heard about the Estee Lauder Double Wear is that it doesn't come with a pump. But hey, guess what? I don't care about that. I solved that problem. I just ordered the MAC Foundation Pump and it works perfectly. So this is the MAC Foundation Pump. This is the packaging that it comes in. This is how the pump looks. It is a self-capping pump, which means that it locks when you just like turn the nozzle. So this is locked position. And this is the open position. And you just take your pump, just plop it right into the foundation. And you know what? I try to position uh, the bottle or the cap where like the nozzle um, is facing as front as possible. But don't toss that beautiful gold cap though. I just stored it right in the Mac bag that the pump came in and I'm gonna save that for whatever. I just love it, I really do, I love it. Yes, it's everything to me. It doesn't look as chic with the Mac foundation pump on there, but I mean, you wanted a pump, honey, so here's a pump, I mean. Are you gonna keep complaining or nah? So without further ado, let's get into the demo of the foundation. So here I am, fresh faced on another day, and I'm starting with moisturized skin as usual. I'm just gonna dot that foundation all over my entire face, and I'm gonna blend it in with a kabuki brush. Now typically, this brush is used with powder, but I find they work really well with matte foundations too. So I'm buffing the foundation in, and uh, I'm gonna speed through the rest of the makeup application. Don't wanna delay too much. And voila, there it is. Cute, right? 
Let me give you a little dance because I'm happy. Bomb. But yeah, um, so that's it for today's video. I'm so glad you guys decided to join me again. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate the likes, the comments, the shares, the dislikes, everything. I appreciate it all. So thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.